Hello friends, I am Dr. Prashant Sharma and you are watching Medico's Hub. This is my fourth lecture on mandible and I will discuss the inner surface of left half of the mandible. This is the inner surface of left half of mandible. This is the ramus and this is the body. In this region we can observe there are two little elevations. This is upper or superior genial tubercle this is lower ya yeah, inferior genial tubercle the upper genial tubercle gives origin to genioglossus muscle while the lower one gives origin to geniohyoid muscle so this is the origin of genioglossus and this one is to geniohyoid muscle now this is the mylohyoid line mylohyoid line gives origin to the mylohyoid muscle so this is origin this region gives origin to mylohyoid muscle here is the digastric fossa and the digastric fossa gives origin to anterior belly of digastric muscle now this is the mandibular foramen we can observe the mylohyoid groove somewhere here this is mylohyoid groove anterior to mylohyoid groove we can observe this region gives origin to superior constrictor muscle of pharynx now uh, just anterior to mylohyoid groove and posterior to the origin to superior constrictor muscle we can observe a nerve that is lingual nerve and this is mandibular foramen anterior just anterior to mandibular foramen there is a ridge prominent ridge with a spine this is known as lingula lingula is basically uh, it is the point at which the sphenomandibular ligament is attached now from the mandibular foramen uh, this is lingual nerve and from the mandibular foramen we can observe the inferior alveolar nerve and vessels in it the posterior to mylohyoid groove posterior and behind the mylohyoid groove this region this region basically indicates the it yeah, provides insertion to the medial pterygoid muscle this is the coronoid process and the spine of the coronoid process and the medial surface and also the anterior border of the ramus of the mandible basically gives insertion to temporalis muscle here on the anterior medial surface of the neck of condyloid process this is basically 
pterygoid phobia which gives insertion to lateral pterygoid muscle in addition we can also observe the external carotid artery somewhere here that is just behind the mandible and it branches off to give maxillary artery anteriorly and superficial temporal artery upwardly another nerve which can be observed on the medial surface of the neck of condylate process is auriculotemporal nerve this is auriculo temporal nerve here we can observe the sublingual fossa and this is the submandibular fossa so this is the inner surface of lateral half of the mandible hit the like button share and subscribe our channel to get the latest updates and notifications